Hi, everybody. Hey, how you doing? We got another preview here for you guys. We did a six hour and three minute and 33 second supernatural gauntlet just last Friday. Uh, here's kind of here's kind of a taste of what you're gonna see. Demon causing autism leaves kid. We've got ghosts, we've got ghouls, we've got it all. We've got UFOs, and guess what? Over six hours of it. There's only one place you're gonna see this. Only one place. That's the Pessimist Productions Patreon. And right now, we got a free trial, seven bucks per month. And if you don't like it, before your seven days are up, you just cancel it. I won't recommend it. You can do that. Also, we have this up for sale. You don't like monthly commitments. We get it. Boom. You can do that here as well. So, guys, six hours of supernatural stuff. Spooky stuff. Weird stuff. And like I said, just one place to see it. The Pessimist Productions Patreon. Go right now. And, hey, enjoy this preview. This is free. But if you want to see the rest of it, you got to pay. That's how it works, guys. Ain't, ain't nothing life free. Think that's free? Think the oxygen you're breathing is free? It's not free. That the thing you bought, that cheeseburger you bought earlier, think that was free? It's not free. You bought a Baconator? Think the Baconator is free? No. That's not how life works. So open your damn wallet, take out your credit card, and buy the shit now. And if you don't, you're dead to us. Don't ever call me again. And don't ever eat another Baconator again. The Baconator is for people who win. The Baconator is for people who sign up for the Pessimist Productions Patreon. That's how the Baconator works. Bye. Oh, and sign up, please. And so the gauntlet begins. I'm doing the Hillary looking at the balloons face. Oh, wow. Balloons. It's not insane enough. Yeah, it's I mean, I look totally insane doing it. All right. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that's way better. That's actually way better. Yeah, that's very I close. To, I had to just take it up like as many notches as my face would allow. <laughs> Millennial X-Files theme remix. Yeah. The X-Files had a hell of a fucking theme, you know? That's some creepy-ass music. It really gets you in the mood for creepy shit. Even with the whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <sighs> the the vervoozler. Get him on there with the vervoozler. No volume, whoop, whoop. That's plenty of volume. Yeah, we, I hear volume. You're a liar, sir. Like this video? It doesn't really matter if they like it or not. This is behind the Patreon paywall. We're not subject to discoverability here. That's true. Hey, this is just ben 10 fucking sucks. Ben 10 yeah. fucking sucks fat ass. The worst fucking cartoon ever made. <laughs> whoever, whoever fucking made Ben 10 and all the people who did voice acting for it and did animation for it should all be fucking hung in the in the fucking town square. Wow. Should be tarred and feathered. Because Ben 10 fucking sucks. How you like me now, Peyton? Now what? Now fucking what? How you like what me else? now? Funko Pops are fucking lame and gay, dude. <gasps> Harsh. If I ever see you, if I, next pop. time I see you, Peyton, I'm a Funko Pop you right in the face. <laughs> Which Ben 10, though? All of them. Uh, all Ben 10. Except the modern reboot that Peyton hates. That one's pretty good. Yeah, that one, actually. I, f I feel like that one really, uh, that's something to say. Dude. Paul, did I ever tell you about the funny ass moment when Peyton was like trying to like do the Ben 10 rant to Chelsea and was like 
hold like showed Chelsea like two versions of the character, one from the version that Peyton liked and one from the version that Peyton hated. And he's like, you can even as a non fan, you can objectively see this one's better than this one. Correct. And Chelsea's like, I don't know. Pretty much the same to me. What? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing you said you ever had Peyton do for you was the bologna slicing the bologna oh my god that was my he brought you thing. like he brought you like a 10 pound chub of bologna dude I told him like yeah it I was like awesome though it was awesome how thick it was I was dude, like I've I, never seen bologna like this I in told, my life I told Peyton like yeah I like some pretty thick slices of bologna Peyton so you know bring back like some thick sliced bologna he brings me back bologna that was like as thick as a fucking steak at a steakhouse dude Dude, it was crazy. I Every fucking slice, slice of that. bologna was like this fucking thick. And I'm like, who the fuck? Why would I want a piece of bologna that big, dude? He was just trying to follow your instructions, man. Like, come on. <laughs> Give me a break. Did you just eat the other it, day. <laughs> Poor Peyton. Just the other day, Peyton writes. Look at him. <laughs> come, oh, come on, fellas. <laughs> dude, Peyton wrote me. Dude, Peyton wrote me out of nowhere. And he's just like, what do he say? He said, like, I just ordered a Baconator. It's going to be wild. <laughs> hey, you're too wholesome, man. You're too wholesome, dude. Is the Baconator really going to be wild? I don't know. Dude, I love Peyton. Peyton's the fucking greatest, bro. <laughs> I was trying to follow your orders. That's. I mean, I believe you, Peyton. That sounds I, yeah, like a I TJ am. thing. Peyton is my understand. favorite autist, dude. Out of yeah. all the autists in the world, Peyton is my dude, easily my favorite. When I watch content on youtube sometimes i'll like click on a video and i'll realize like a couple minutes in like i'm listening to the peyton of x yeah. y or z thing because yeah. it'll be but, like you know i mean but hey you know sometimes you need you know, that to understand the lore of something dude, that you're not going to go through <laughs> i'm going to tell you this i just ordered a baconator it's about to get wild i and love I'm him i'm, I'm going to kiss him on his chubby little cheeks i'll, I'll watch these things i mean like and honestly like you know the autists a lot of times they have the most like in-depth comprehensive analysis of shit, <laughs> you know, cause they're really fucking, it's important to them. Whereas me, if I'm trying to analyze something like after like fucking five minutes of analyzing, I'm like, yeah, anyway, you know, you know what it's like, dude, I kind of want a Baconator right now. Um, yeah. Baconator. I wouldn't turn it down. You know, the thing that sucks, I hate that. Why is the fucking bacon at Wendy's got to be such fucking thin? It's trash. Dude. Floppy shit, though. Yeah. You know who has the worst bacon, though? McDonald's mm. by far. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. McDonald's. But you may as well not get bacon at McDonald's. It is not even fucking real bacon, dude. No, it's I don't some fuck weird with it. Fucking paper thin bacon. Fuck that shit. I only get bacon cheeseburgers if I go to an actual restaurant or I make it myself, dude. I can't fuck with most people's bacon. There's, just, nah, there's, some, there, there's some fast food places that represent. Oh my god! Bacon what, wait, what slop? What slop are you gonna try to sell me? Um, like Whataburger does pretty decent. Fucking slice oh, okay. bacon Whataburger, on their sandwich. Well, fair enough on that. It's one. like real bacon at least. Yeah, no, Whataburger's legit. I agree. I mean, fair enough. I'm pretty sure I don't. I've never been. Uh, I don't. I don't think I've ever gotten bacon anyway. From uh, what place has the best bacon? Like just overall, any like restaurant, food? like a national chain, or just fast or food like places, any or, restaurant, yeah, just or... a national chain. I actually don't get bacon too often. Waffle House, dude. Waffle House. Does oh have good bacon. shit, dude! Waffle Especially House, dude, extra crispy. You, you get it extra crispy. Waffle House got mm, the dude. best bacon. No, hundred percent. Not if thick you, enough though. If you that's go that's to my main gripe with Waffle House, bacon. if you go to first, good. If you go to First Watch and order the million dollar bacon, that shit is the best bacon you'll ever fucking have in your I mean, life. Whatever, dude. That's first some watch, fucking... dude. I don't know. Man. Nah, the first dude, first watch Get is out of here. First watch. You've talked nothing but bacon. mad shit about first watch, though. You gotta admit. The they most can't fucking like... cook for a breakfast place, those motherfuckers cannot cook an egg to save their life, but that bacon is on it's beyond on point. That fucking bacon is is knocking it out of the fucking stratosphere. All right, next shit. time I come see you, I'm gonna go. I, I, you, that's all I want to get is that bacon. They ain't got shit. a first watch near you. They're everywhere now. They're fucking everywhere now. You throw a yeah, fucking stone I, I, and there's I, I, a goddamn I, I, first watch. It's there is one, but it's so far from me. I'm not a, really a fan of it, so I I never okay, go to whatever it. then. But check out that million dollar bacon next time you're there because that shit is fucking beyond belief. They don't even have bacon in Canada. It's called ham. Okay. They serve ham and call it bacon in Canada. Fuck that. It's yeah, bullshit. That's trash. Get out of here with that bullshit ass bacon, dude. 
Dude, Waffle House is some good shit, though. I had Waffle House the other day. I had one of those uh, fucking uh, hash brown bowls. That shit's fucking good. Dude, I haven't fucking had Waffle House in years, man. I'm oh, yeah, anymore. you're in that fucking... Oh, dude, that's right. I'm in a Waffle House dead smog zone. smog desert, dude. Yeah, I forgot about that. Waffle Ooh, House dead cool. zone. Build it in bro. California, man. I don't know why they won't do it. Probably because they, they have to pay taxes and shit up here. Yeah, Waffle House <laughs> yeah, don't that's fuck probably with that. it. Ah, that fucking sucks. Bro. I have an important question for you guys, though. Um, do feral people live in national parks? Obviously, feral? yes. Like, what does feral mean? Have you ever wondered if there are any feral people living in our national parks? I have to admit, I thought about it when I was young. After all, it would only it would make sense from an for an impressionable young child who watches a lot of television, right? There's plenty of wilderness to hide away in and ample opportunity to forage for food. And these documentaries are damn convincing. But is it really true? Do feral people live in our national parks? Or is it just another urban legend now perpetuated by social media? Let's explore the possibility and find out once and for all. Will Feral? Beware the feral people in our national parks. Oh, fuck, dude. It's like a zombie. Yeah, listen to that music. It's creepy shit. The National Park Service turned 105 years old in August of this year. Way back in 19... The National Park Service turned 105 years old last year. What's even more important is the question. Do random feral people have it in our national parks? One of the questions on everyone's mind as our national parks turn 105 is... Do feral people live within the national parks? Several Dude, sightings. so many of these people, the title of the video will be that, but if you actually get down in the video, and we'll probably see this all night, is, well, a lot of people say they've seen it, but who really knows the truth? We Hit like and subscribe to get more content like this. It's like, oh. 1916, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson signed an act that created the Federal Department responsible for overseeing and protecting sites of scenic historic Look, i'm not i'm not here for a fucking history lesson yes, you about fuck it. no i'm not i want to see if there's i want to see some feral people in you gotta understand park. the rich full context of what the fuck is Man, going i don't need on, to fucking Scotty. understand nothing i want to see feral people doing crazy shit attacking people at our national parks i want to see it now feral people Terrific importance nowadays national parks are known for many things their sprawling natural landscapes, their innate beauty, their immense biodiversity. Wasn't they, weren't they always known for those things? Why is that a nowadays thing? Nowadays, like, it's like nature or something. Nowadays, there's all this nature in our parks. What's you know, a lot of that? people go to national parks to see interesting, forma- like, geological formations, to see animals they wouldn't normally see. Like the Smoky Mountains, people want to see black bears. People go to fucking, what is it, Yellowstone, they want to see bison and shit. They want to see the fucking different flora and fauna and, and they want to see some shit like, oh, there's a geyser or there's this rock formation. That's why they want to fucking go. We get why people want to go to national parks. I'm not fucking stupid, bro. And they're feral cannibalistic humans. <laughs> Wait, what? The last one's a joke, right? Right. Maybe well, not. depending on who you ask, it might not be. Yep. Oh, there you go. There you go. All, already the slippery oh, bullshit. It depends on who you ask. I mean, because people swear up and down they've seen them, man. That's all these videos ever fucking are is one time this person went to this place and they saw something crazy, and that's what they claim. Is it the truth? I don't know. Decide for yourself. By the way, hit like and share and subscribe. The internet. Baconator. 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 Oh, God. Baconator. Nowadays. The Baconator is known for having bacon, as well as cheese, meat, and a bun. And also cannibalistic humanoids. That last one is a joke, or is it? I'm trying fucking desperately not to impulse buy a Baconator right now. With multiple stories. You know, I'm going to fucking just buy one. Fuck you. Whatever. I am. I'm if getting you a fuck- get one, then I might get one too, bitch. Yeah, I'm getting a fucking baconator. You know what? If you get one baconator, I'm gonna get two. You know, if I get if you get two baconator, I'm gonna get three. 
Oh, yeah? Well, if you get three, I'm going to get six. Well, if you get six, I'm going to get ten. You get ten, I'm going to get twenty. If you get twenty, I'm probably just going to stick with one, actually. Yeah, I think one Baconator is fine. Also, I think on the app, you're going to hit a limit pretty quick. Like, I want 20 Baconators. You're going to be like, uh, no. I don't even think I've ever... I mean, I don't think I've had a Baconator since it was introduced, but I guess Peyton's meme has put it in my brain. never had a Baconator even once? No, no, I said I did when it was introduced, but... Okay, when it was introduced. You ain't had a Baconator since it was introduced? I had one maybe, like, a year ago? I mean, it's been a couple years for me, but I still... I've I've probably eaten, like, a dozen Baconators at least. Dozen Baconators coming to you in the sun. I'm going to let our live chat decide. Chat. One's in the chat. Paul gets a Baconator. Two's in the chat. Paul doesn't fucking give in to the Baconator. Three in the chat for the manatee. Three is for the manatee. One of my land. My fate is in your hand. One, Baconator. Two, no bacon air, Paul. Be good. Don't get a bacon air. You don't need a bacon. One, air. one, three, three, one, 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 three, one, one. Do you think a bacon air would be good one. on a pretzel bun? Because it's giving me that option. Yeah. Uh, I mean, anything's pretty good on a pretzel bun. Fuck yeah, I think it'd be good, dude. Okay. Two. I mean, it's definitely a race between the ones and the threes. So it's only like mind, one Paul, person that gives a shit about me in the chat. That one dude is just like, actually, Paul, I don't think Baconator is a good idea for you. <laughs> and cholesterol I mean, you have, is a little high. And you have to be realistic, too. I mean, if someone's voting three, I mean, the manatee, if like you're talking about the manatee, what would he do? I mean, he's getting the Baconator. Baconator. Oh, uh, yeah. Baconator. One. I mean, I don't know. Awesome. Looks like it. Looks like I'm getting a Baconator. Yeah. I'm going to get one later, though. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I get that fucking critical hungry, and then I'm getting the Baconator. Chelsea, you have un- you have like a few minutes. If you're watching this, Chelsea, if you want something from Wendy's, you better tell me soon. That's all I'm saying. Speak now. We have a whole drill. Because I've got, I've got my Baconator in the cart, but I can't wait long. Did you just get a, you getting- a, a solo Baconator? Did you get the meal? I got a meal, but like only a, I think I just got a small meal, though. I really don't want what? too much fries or anything else. A small meal? What the yeah. fuck, PJ? What, are, you, are you fucking a 10-year-old or well, something? You got a Frosty dude? with it, right? I mean, you got the Frosty. No, I didn't get a Frosty it. or nothing. What? You didn't get a Frosty? What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I don't really like Frosties. What the fuck? Frosties oh, are pretty, you know what? pretty mid. Pretty mid. No, no. Oh, no. man. Frosty is mid? Cancel, cancel this fucking Dude, you're gauntlet done, right now. This is now the TJ's a fucking retard gauntlet. <laughs> frosty mid, mid, man. I call it the mid dusty. I've seen you tear up some fucking frosties, man. So if they're mid to you, TJ, don't matter. One iota. Frosties are fucking mid, dude. They're too damn know. thick. You can't eat them. You can't drink them with a straw or nothing. You're no. supposed fuck. to eat them with a spoon. Eat them with I don't like fuck. that. I don't like and eating it with a spoon. Can, I want to dip your fries in it, dude. You can dip your fries in the fries. I don't oh want to dip my God. fucking fries in it. That's fuck fucking me. weird. Blasphemy, dude. Yeah, Krista knows what's up. Just bad soft serve. That's all the fuck it is. Uh, wrong. Oh my god, dude. You you know you're Fake fucking news. against the ropes when you're leaning on Krista Valencourt, dude. Dude, Krista you're is fucking, fucking spot you're looking on at Krista in the chat, dude. Going Paul, like, yeah, look, he's standing up only because of the ropes at this point. He's t- he's taking the gut shot. He's taking the what fucking I'm sure, shot. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. It's a matter of fucking subjective taste, right? No, it is bullshit. You're no, it is objective wrong. that the frosty is the greatest fucking thing ever to be made, dude. dude the frosty, how do you truth. not like the fucking frosty, TJ? Some wrong because it's too goddamn. Th- it's how okay. about the strawberry frost? You ever tried the it's strawberry goddamn, frosty? No. All right, I'll try. I'll get a strawberry fucking frosty. Thank then. you. Fucking thank you, TJ. Finally made a good decision. I mean, dude, I gotta be honest with you. Real men get a chocolate frosty, but whatever. I guess. Well, I already know for a fact that well, strawberry a is for the limited time right now, Paul. That's why you get the strawberry. I'll admit I don't fucking I don't give a shit about the fucking chocolate frosty. I already know that. But I'll try the strawberry frosty. Maybe that yeah, one dude. will be different. TJ needs to get kicked. TJ needs to get banned. This is it's you're a bad take machine today, TJ. Bad take machine. Just like Charlie Sheen. All right. 
Can we have a strawberry yeah. Friday frosty? Chelsea also wants a strawberry frosty. Okay. Uh see. What size, Chelsea? Chelsea's thinking with her big brain, TJ. There's like only you. one size of frosty. Large. I'm getting a small. I don't want a fucking large. Oh a my small. fucking god, dude. Why don't you just cut your dick and balls off right now and throw them over your shoulder? I mean, at least TJ, at the minimum, you get a medium. Let Salvador fucking tear that dick and balls up. Feral humans throughout the United States and national parks. Many were quick to dismiss these claims. Sure, <laughs> these were just. <laughs> this guy's a fucking idiot, dude. I want to Many slap this guy in his mouth. <laughs> these claims, like the fact there's no evidence or proof that never happened. Could that be it? Uh, dude, if there were fucking crazy cannibal zombie people living in parks, it'd be a fucking huge story. And it Chelsea, wouldn't... I'm just going to assume you want a fucking medium frosty, right? So there we go. Dude, we get it, Princess Sar. You're bouncing on TJ's big old nuts. We get it, dude. We get what it. Happened? What did Princess Sar do now? It's just the Tajika fans that come out to defend your bad takes. You know what I mean? You know I mean, what? Everybody it's in the chat is I going speak... like... I speak truths that other people like Paul are just afraid to fucking admit because Paul yeah. knows in his heart of hearts that Frosty is a bunch of mid bullshit. Oh, it's no. not, dude. No, no, it's, it's, just, fucking it's, way. it's just been it's been marketed to him in just the right way. So his no, ass thinks it's something fucking no, special, no. but it ain't. You're dead. It's, it's, just, special. it's just weak sauce. It's soft not too much serve. ice cream. No, it's not. It's not even I ice cream. You know, it's like some weird fucking. Yeah, you're sweet, right. It's protein. not even fucking it's a beautiful ice cream. fucking it's thing. Trash. It's delicious, TJ. Chelsea, you're made of a fluffy chocolate cloud. When you're eating that strawberry frosty, Chelsea, you're thinking me and Paul. Do you want anything other than a fucking frosty or no? Just come here and give me a thumbs down or thumbs up or send me a quick text. Dude, DJ, I'm about how to order are you so shit. bad at ordering Do DoorDash and shit, dude? What do you mean? What am I bad at? I'm trying to fucking get... Like, it always takes you like I've 60 already minutes done it. to fucking puzzle your way through the DoorDash. What? Well, first of all, I'm not a terminal DoorDash addict like your fucking you're fat like ass. You're like a grandpa all, ordering DoorDash, Second bro. of all, I'm, I already ordered my shit forever ago. I'm just waiting on to know what hey, Chelsea wants. Now you're button? blaming Chelsea? That's messed up, man. Is this the button I press, Jesse? Is this the one? It's already, it's ready to go. I just need to know if she wants anything else. How do I get the? Be frosty? a gentleman, TJ. TJ, be a gentleman. And order her whatever you think she would want. I don't know what she wants. Get her a That's large no and quit being a bitch, man. She doesn't want a large. I don't think TJ she wants calling large. Paul fat. I know, dude. I know, dude. <sighs> Paul is fat. Yeah, is but Paul so not are fat? you. So fucking what? It's like a black so guy what? calling another black guy the N word. It's fine. It's acceptable. It if I was skinny, it would be on. It'd be wrong for me to call Paul fat if I was skinny, because then it would be ableist. But since it's I'm uncouth. also fat, you're uncouth, TJ. It's, it's uncouth. uncouth. That's bullshit. It's not uncouth. Being fucking uncouth right now. All right, whatever. I'm ordering it, Chelsea. You're too late. You had your chance. <laughs> All right, up, TJ. Submitting order. It's been ordered. Yeah, get her some tendies too, man. What are you fucking doing, TJ? She didn't ask for nothing. She wants some tendies. Uh, I'm gonna let you, right, you know what's I'm gonna, gonna happen. You, I'm gonna let you know right now. Chelsea wants some tendies. Well, she should have said something then. Should have said something. Just online personalities and journalists. Just don't know, that. TJ. You just don't know. Well, that may be the. I know everything. Case. Reports of feral humans in the U.S. The reports of feral yeah, humans in the U.S. This dude is just a stoner, all right? He's trying to sound scary, but this dude is just clearly a fucking stoner, sitting there puffing a joint spooky. as he's reading this shit, trying to sound There's spooky. some, like, feral people that live There's in, like, feral national demons, parks. like, in the national parks, man. It's spooky. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, poor bit. Chelsea's going to starve with no tendies. I know they for a fact she was making hot song. dogs last I saw her. So she, she wants tendies. As far as over 50 years ago. Uh, I didn't know, TJ. She burned those hot dogs. Desperately wants some Wendy's now. Shit. You ain't dipping your wick tonight, TJ. The marching family what from Knoxville, Tennessee. That wick is going undipped. Wick is going to be bone dry. Annual Father's Day weekend family camping trip in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The group consists of two young boys, Dennis and Douglas. Alongside their father, William, and grandfather, Clyde. 
Mm-hmm. The Martin brothers meet up with other children who are camping. Who the fuck watches this boring ass shit? God damn, has this got views? Okay. Are people watching this? People know who this dude is even. Fucking 138,000 views for this dog shit. God damn, it's boring. So what so uh, I'm assuming this guy is talking like about some hillbillies or some shit. He's talking about some fucking dumb fucks in 1969 that saw like a feral person in the woods or whatever. The I fuck. just saw some drunk fucking hillbilly. It was it's got the goddamn uh, Smoky Mountains in the area, and collectively plan to sneak up and start other families as a harmless prank. Oh shit! They hide behind a bush for a couple of minutes before they all leap out and return to their campsite. All of them except for Dennis. The other children were unaware of where he had gone out to. He was wow, the- it's almost like if you've ever been to the, uh, which me and TJ have, and I've actually been in the side of this park. It's heavily forested, and a small child could very easily get lost in it. But when the child was found, he reported seeing feral people. Oh. oh. The boy's father had only lost sight of Dennis for roughly five minutes before he began calling out for him and searching around the campsite. Frantically, he searched in every crevice and hiding spot near the camp. Did he search every crevice, though? I don't know. Before running down the trail and searching for two miles, ensuring that he checked everywhere the little boy could have possibly gone. There's no way you could check an area like that big. (laughs) He checked a uh, a two-mile area. He walked down a fucking trail. Okay, number one, if it's a small child, they didn't go fucking far, dude. Let's just be honest. If if it was on their own two feet. They knew if they were abducted by feral people. I mean, there's also black bears and shit in that park, so... They quickly enlisted help thereafter. Over the coming days, massive search parties and other people were deployed across the area. Footprints possibly belonging to the were found, but quickly dismissed as Boy Scouts that were aiding in the search effort. Separate search effort. How dare you snore? A child is missing from both the National Guard and Special Forces also took place. Special Forces was brought in. the incredible amount of Oh, shit. No concrete trace of evidence was found. Okay, so he's probably eaten. He's probably eaten by a bear. Who gives a shit? Next. (laughs) Michigan Dog Man. Full video, Scotty. Oh, shit. Prepare yourself to believe in the Michigan dog, man. What the fuck is going on? Dude, look at him. He's riding a snowmobile. Pretty fucking nuts, dude. That dog, man. Look at him go. I believe. I believe. I believe in the dog man. Can we just skip to the part where there's a dog man or whatever the fuck? If there's a dog man in this video, can we just see that? I don't think there is one. I think we've been had. <laughs> this is this. We're just someone just tricked us into watching their old snowmobile video. Wee. Where's the fucking dog man? I don't know. I'm waiting for it. Are they going to like, have we seen it already? Are they going to put a circle around this fuck or what? Where's the fucking dog man at? I'm scared. Finally, no more slander towards Mr. Creeps. Dude, why do you watch that shit? That's the most boring shit I've ever fucking heard. He literally just like, and then there was a demon or something. I'm a spooky guy. All right, something's happening, maybe. Like they're Blair witching it now. Where's the fucking dog man? I don't see shit. I've been chopping up the fucking wood like a dumbass fuck. Okay. Very necessary. Where's he I'm at? I'm sure all this context is very important. Give me the fucking dog, man. There's a dog. Yeah, that's a dog. I see a dog, and I think I see a man, maybe, but I don't see a dog, man, as of yet. 
This is just a family video for this bland family. Is that the dog, man? I got bad news for you people who believe in this. That's just a dog. Show me the fucking dog, man, already. Is it out there? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where is it? Why do we need all this context? We need to see a kid riding around on a snowmobile and some dude fixing a car or whatever to understand the dog, man. I don't see any dog, man. Where the fuck is he? Is that the dog, man? Did you see him? Nope. Dog man, bro. Is he is that supposed to be the dog man? That blur, one of these blurs. Where's the dog man at? I guess he's around here. We have watched this whole Whoa. oh shit. Oh shit. The fuck is that? Is that the does look like a rock? Oh no, that's not no rock. That is a dog. Oh, that's fuck. a fucking dog man. Get out of there. Run. Oh, that's the shit. fucking dude from the shining. Bro, I've been fucking, you know, man. we were wrong, man. Wait, when you're wrong, you're wrong, you know? There's no way that was just a fucking dude in a costume, man. That was a 100% real goddamn dog, man, bro. I don't know what else you could fucking even say about that shit. You can't say shit about that shit. That shit's too much. Too fucking mush. Dude, that wasn't no fucking bear. You don't you you don't know what's what, chat. You ain't you never seen a, a bear. You think that's a fucking bear? Why did it look and act and move like a dog man then? Explain Checkmate. that. Explain that shit then. Checkmate, atheists. Dumb fucks. Dog man and feral humans stalk and terrorize our parks with photo by FBI. Also chilling video evidence. Whoa. Pretty spooky. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well today. No. Is this I'm the not. same guy again? No, they just all talk like this because they think it's spooky. Today, I have an extraordinary lineup of terrifying video clips and encounters with photo. Before we get into it, though, a couple links. As you know, I rely on Patreon, PayPal. Oh, here That's we go. great. We're going to go ahead and skip a little fa fast forward doing that. Sometimes you will smell them. Okay, yep. Putrid uh huh. Putrid stench, blah, blah, blah. Same picture. Where's the footage? Okay, here we go. Something. That's the dog man again. Where is he? Where the fuck is it? Um, whoa, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Well, I believe. Yeah, I saw an indiscernible blur of motion way back there, which leads me to believe it couldn't be anything other than a fucking dog man, right? Like, what else could that even fucking be? Is this even supposed to be the dog man? Who knows? I mean, that's literally what the name of the video is. It's another dog man thing? Yeah see it you just gotta believe you didn't see it are you guys blind or something it's right fucking back there look it's even being enhanced now for you all right so definitely a very interesting video. <laughs> oh, <Wrong>. is it? <laughs> definitely wrong definitely a very interesting video you guys see this is why i was fearing this one this is what, because think about this. Think about six hours later and we're still making the same commentary of like watching some blur go by on the screen and then some fucking slack jawed dork going like, I got some more interesting footage for you. 
more enthralling evidence of the dog man and then it's more of this moon shit forever and ever and ever like where's all this footage you said you had his the video begins by saying he has a ton of footage and like where is it where's all the fucking footage at all right here's finally some more footage it's like two clips in a fucking 23 minute video all right let's see this Oh god. Oh! I've got some very fuck? compelling footage for you tonight. Whoa. That's definitely some of the most compelling footage that I've seen. Holy shit. The dog man is real. It's on sale at your local Walmart if you want it. Dominated by the dog man. Cryptid romance. Oh shit! I bet this one's hot though. I bet this is pretty fucking hot reading right here. Cryptid romance paper. There's two authors, Sadie Meyer and Willa Holmes. This this is so fucking hot and steamy. They fucking this is a collab. Okay. I mean, the cover looks hot. What happens when eighteen year old Willa? is left alone in a cabin in the middle of the woods, all while a wolf-like predator awaits an opportunity to strike. Is it hungry for fresh meat or something else? How will Willa react when she notices that the rare beast is eager to mate? The answer will certainly surprise you. <laughs> I don't think it will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just going to fuck. I'm pretty sure I know how this is going to go. I don't feel like there's going to be a surprise in store. Read now to learn what happens in this shocking true story. True story. Blow it out your ass. Author's note. This is erotica. Reader caution is advised. Is it okay. really erotica if it really happened according to them? Yeah, it's a true story of erotica. I noticed that the dog man wanted to mate. So... You know, we had to do. We had to do. I sucked the dog man's red rocket. So, um, this guy, he's got a story to tell, Paul. This guy was forced from the Smoky Mountains by feral people. Okay. I mean, if I fucking saw this guy wandering around my mountains, I'd force him out too. Fair point. On his way to go spend the summer with his brother down in Charleston, South Carolina, Travis, along with his girlfriend, had a frightening encounter with a group of strange people in the Smoky Mountains. So this is actually not his story, I guess. This is him recounting the story someone else told him, I guess. So much less interesting. But on we plow. But before we get to their encounter, welcome back to Dark Wilderness. If you've had an encounter that you would like to share on the show. So basically... The premise of your show is people send in bullshit stories and then you you share the stories to your audience and then you get how many views out of it? How many views you ringing out of this bullshit? 7.8 thousand? Eh. Not too bad, I guess. So please email me at the link below. I feel like, like this dude is about to explain to me that an AR-15 is not really an assault rifle. <laughs> yeah. Slap that like button. And before you go driving off into the Smokies, make sure you grab that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Grab it. Now, let's get into okay. today's encounter. Oh. I came into this world as a reject. Look into these eyes and you see the size of the fact from Travis and it happened in 2002 in the Tennessee portion of the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh -huh. Travis, along with his girlfriend, Melissa, were recent high school graduates and they were really looking forward to spending the entire summer together, just enjoying each other's company before they had to break off and go their own separate ways for college. Now, there was a problem with this because Melissa's parents were heading out to Paris and they were not comfortable leaving their daughter at home by herself. So they made a deal with her that she'd be able to stay in the U.S. as long as she found somewhere to stay for the summer. Travis asked his parents, but they were not comfortable with that idea, so it left the two of them in kind of a little bit of a predicament. Now, it wasn't until Travis's older brother, Mike, who had recently... You know, if I had a story about uh, 
the time that a bunch of Smoky Mountain feral people ran me off. <laughs> I don't think it would begin with all this fucking boring details about like, yeah, my parents didn't want me staying home, so blah, blah, blah. blah. Like, <laughs> can we just get to that part? Or at least get to the part where they're in the woods or whatever? It also like, defies reason. Millions of people visit the Smoky Mountain National Park every year. There's park rangers. There's all kinds of people going there for all different sorts of reasons. And I guess you could argue, like, really deep in there, could there be someone living there? Like, sure, there's backpackers and people who actually go and, like, they'll, just, they'll basically hike the entire park. And none of those people have ever been like, there's some crazy feral people there. Maybe occasionally some asshole will come up with some story to sound interesting. But I, it's just highly unlikely there's a bunch of fucking feral people because there'd be some sign that there was a settlement. There'd be some sort of, like, activity you could point to. Just like a, st a story with nothing else. It's just a story. Recently moved about six months before down guy's canadian for sure he just said a boot he's got a maple leaf clock paul's dying somewhere in the background out to charleston south carolina offered for them to come stay with him for the summer the two of them were absolutely thrilled at that news so they made plans to make their way from cincinnati all the way down to charleston so once the day came they loaded up travis's truck jumped in and they started making their way southeast to not a real photo oh, of Travis's what? truck. I'm glad that he fucking <laughs> cl clarified that. Yo, I thought it was a photo of Travis's truck. Until that, I read the caption down below. I'm like, that's Travis. Oh, okay, shit. The well, fuck? who the fuck's truck is that? And do you have permission to be taking pictures of their truck? Towards Charleston. Now, they really had no set time frame for this trip, so they really took their time making their way down. They would stop at the various towns along the way, taking the sights, and because they were both very outdoorsy, any time that they would see a hiking trail or even a back road leading Is off. This guy a Canuck. Yes. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I detect a, a more than a hint of Canuck Astani out We heard there. him say a boot earlier. Oh, and if you notice, shit. he's got. They pull the notice, vehicle uh, over. Hold on, we'll see in a second. Just a you see back here, he's got a maple leaf uh, clock. Uh, oh. Confirmed, dude. All right, so you know he's a liar, 100% confirmed. The rest of the story, I mean, we, we can listen to it. We're respectful of the people who, you know, who want to see the gauntlet, but I I'm know just wondering, line. like, when, when we get to the fucking feral people, all right? Here, I'm skipping ahead. Truck. So she leaned over, shook Travis, woke him up, told him what she had heard outside. So he sat up, and he started looking through the windows, trying to see if he could see who this person So was. they're in the middle of nowhere, and they hear a noise they don't recognize. <laughs> oh, man, I'm shocked. After a couple of minutes of seeing absolutely nothing, the two of them kind of decided, you know what? It was probably just an animal, probably some form of a deer, a raccoon or something. I'm sure it'll be fine. And they just lied back down and tried to go back to sleep. About 15 minutes later, again, Melissa heard the sound of somebody walking around the truck, except this time it sounded like it was more than one person. It sounded like it was multiple, about four or five people. So she got really about nervous. About four or five people. I don't Me. trust Canadian Fred Durst here, man. I don't know shit. It's just sure one of those happens. days when you don't want to wake up. Everything is oh. fucked. Everybody sucks. And what was going on? He sat up, and this time he decided he was just going to turn off. And then when they got back, the hook was in the door. Oh, no! But who was phone? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I've had all that. All right, we're moving on. Dude. Feral people. You better people. quit skipping these so fast, DJ. We oh, got don't six you... fucking hours of this don't bullshit. You worry. We're on, we have this to go. We are here. Oh, uh, okay. We're fine. So oh, don't man. worry about Skip it. Them no. all. <laughs> we can Two move pretty fast. Are what are angels? Especially when something is fucking boring as goddamn dirt. All right. Who or what are angels, Paul? Have you ever asked yourself that? No. Um, no. Well, how about the what's the Bible's answer? <laughs> yeah, let's turn let's turn to the Bible. What is the angels, Bible? Have to say? Angels, Scotty, are beings who have greater power and ability than humans. They exist in heaven or the spirit realm, which is a level of existence higher than the physical universe. Thus, they are also referred to as spirits. 
Where do angels come from? God created the angels through Jesus, whom the Bible calls the firstborn of all creation. Describing how God used Jesus in creation, the Bible says, by means of Jesus, kind of suspect how that's in parentheses there, all of the things were created in the heavens and on the earth, the things visible and the things invisible, including the angels. Angels do not marry and reproduce. Instead, each of these sons of the true God was individually created. Angels were created in the distant past, before the earth existed. When uh, God created the earth, the angels began shouting in applause. Yeah, Christian LARPing just, just doesn't interest me, which is, that's basically the most of the show with the angels. It's like, I saw an angel watching over you him. You know, after all that big lecture at the, the, the beginning of this shit about how I'm so close-minded, you're not even, I mean, millions of Americans believe in angels, and you guys are not even willing to hear them out. Millions of Americans are fucking stupid. You calling me closed-minded when you won't even listen to these Americans who believe in angels? Yeah, I, uh, you know what? I'll give you your I'll give you your fucking due, TJ. I am closed-minded when it comes to angels. How many angels are there, Scotty? Zero. <laughs> How do you talk to an angel? You can't. They don't exist. The Bible does not give an exact figure for how many angels there are, but it does show that their number is vast. Oh, fucking convenient. So, for example, a vision given to the Apostle John, including gl a glimpse of hundreds of millions of angels. So there's these are not as rare as you might think. There's hundreds of millions of these. Do angels have individual names and personalities? Yes. The Bible gives the name of two angels, Michael and Gabriel. Other angels acknowledged that they had names but did not reveal them. Angels have distinct personalities. They can communicate with one another. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's what angels are. Dude, an angel fucking put his finger in my poo hole one time, dude. We also know the depiction oh, really? they, have, they yeah. have of angels is a modern depiction. I was it's like walking down the street, angels. and I was feeling all alone and stuff. The door. Like... Oh shit, you know, I'm fucking alone. I'm a man alone. And then all of a sudden I heard, Ooh, and I looked behind me, and this angel was greasing up his finger in some Vaseline. And I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? And then he bent me over and he put it right in my fucking pooper. And I was like, oh, angel. Oh, God. How'd that feel? Like that. Is that pretty good? I mean, hit me right in the prostate you know what i mean i was like oh, i mean oh, yeah oh. i mean you figure an angel would be pretty good at that right he was or I, th sorry, I think they were you know let's say i think paul's confusing the angel with his femboy angel <laughs> angels you remember angels. we used to fuck with galen by fucking going up to him and be like galen got an angel with you right now <laughs> yeah we did all the time dude and he gets so like oh god damn it one and only an angel above you right now smiling I seen an angel story. Angel story that I have as a hospice nurse. Is this one of the nurses working in your hospice, Paul? Yeah. Is this going to be like one of those things that makes me realize that I really shouldn't trust the medical profession profession at all because these are the type of people that are doing the work? Probably. Well, I mean, in I fairness, someone in hospice, about... there's really nothing else they can do for you anyway. So, no, this, this bitch couldn't even get an interview at my hospice. Okay. What's that? The Baconator arrived, TJ. Yeah, the Baconator is here. Damn, Thank that was you. pretty quick. It's not bad. Where's your frosting? I've had this page for a year and a half. I have never shared this, but it does go along with the story that I have shared. So some of my OG followers know that I have what I'd call like a miracle story. I have one patient that I would consider a miracle uh, in my 15 years of being a nurse. I can't tell that whole entire miracle story. Let me know if you want to hear about it in the Thank comments. God. No, no, we don't. <laughs> Can you go to the comments of this right now, TJ, and, and say, please do not. We do not want to hear the miracle story. Yes, yeah, sure. I just want to make sure she knows. Thank you. That's That's beautiful, TJ. Thank you. Mm -hmm. a little bit of it so i can tell you about the angel side of the story that i failed to mention the first time i told you this miracle story <laughs> oh right yeah right oh, of course 
The I forgot the, the part angel. where the angel showed up. You know, uh, that slipped my common. fucking mind. Dude, if I had a story and I was purporting the story to have an angel in it, I'm pretty sure that's going to be like one of the main points I'm going to hit when I'm telling the story about the time I saw the angel. You know, uh, remember that story I told you last week about where my shoes were missing and then I found them? Um, well, yeah. I forgot to tell you the part of the story where the dragon showed up. It was actually a dragon in that story. I totally fucking was it, forgot. Was it the mention. dragon from Dragon Ball Z? And that was the wish. It's like, I will grant you one wish, TJ. And you're like, where are my shoes? And it's like, here they are. And then you found your shoes and you were good. This is um me and this frosty, Scotty. Dude, I saw an angel once. Delicious. You did? Yeah, I did, actually. No joke. Didn't, didn't it is this the same as the one that stuck its finger no, in your ass? No, no. I was joking about the one that fucking rammed my pooper, dude. Come on, TJ. You can't tell the difference between a fake story and a real one. Yeah. Um, I was at I was look, I, I was hanging out. I swear to God, dude, I saw a fucking angel, bro. You gonna fucking make fun of me? This is the supernatural gauntlet. Aren't we supposed to be truthful about this shit right now? Go oh, ahead. Yeah, yeah. Lay it out. That's true. I was chilling. I I was hanging out with some friends. Uh huh. And we went to this club called Jigglies. And I was sitting down in the front row, and all of a sudden, it was like, "She's my cherry pie." And this dude was like, "Everybody, give it up for Angel." And she fired this fucking angel popped out and was fucking swinging around on the pole. She did the splits right in front of me, and I put a wow. dollar in her thong. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty good angel story. That's probably the best angel story I've heard. I mean, that's hard to deny that experience. I, I'm pretty sure you, uh, you know, Paul, I think that's true. I believe, I believe you. you. Yeah. Mostly out of fear of being judged and because I don't understand it myself. So basically this woman that I would consider. No, wait, so if you don't understand it, then how do you know it's an angel? Like, how can you assert, like. I know it was an angel, but I don't really know what happened. I don't understand it. So then it could have been any multitude of things. Was an actively dying patient who looked like she was going to die that night. I went okay. to go visit her and the family the next morning to see how she was and if she had died or when she was going to die because she was actively dying the night before. And she was awake and eating and talking and walking and f looked like she like fully recovered. Now, she didn't fully recover. She did end up dying three months later. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, she hung on for the three months, but, I mean, that day she looked pretty good. Like, that does happen with people who are terminally ill. What a total fucking miracle, yo. But those three months, she lived very well, eating, talking, walking, having... You know what this makes me want to do, dude? This makes me want to fucking tell you to go back about three videos and let's watch that dog man shit again, bro. <laughs> These are getting I worse as we go. Man. So that's the short version of the miracle story. The part of the miracle story that I don't tell is that. Wait a minute. You don't tell it, but you're telling it now. How does that work? Well, I remember. The one she, is a walking fucking contradiction. She used the to part be afraid, I don't tell. She, she, she tells the story to everyone she's ever met. She was afraid of judgment before, Scotty. But now it's time for her to just speak the now, truth. Now that a bunch of weirdos on the internet are like, I believe you. Yeah. Of While her kids were in the other room calling family, family members to tell them that, you know, their loved one was dying likely that night. I went into the room to check on the patient who was actively dying in my mind's eye, which this doesn't actively happen. Actively dying. Why, why? Okay. How long does it take to actively die? Like, what do you, how, what do you define as actively dying? You said they died three months later. So it didn't seem like they were actually actively dying. Well, Scott, that's because the miracle. Again, oh, okay. The miracle is so the miracle intervened, and that's why. But the you know, died. had the miracle not happened, she would have died that night. Why? Why didn't the miracle just cure the person? They just lived another ten years, and it was great. Because the the miracle only was for three months. It was, it was a three, three months. Month, uh, three months uh, trial. Was miracle. God feeling a little stingy? Like, look, I'll give you a miracle, but only a three month miracle. That happened to me. Yeah, the miracle of three more months of dying. <laughs> you shall remember that one from the Bible. Now. Oh, thank you, God. I wanted to suffer. Like, wouldn't it have been the miracle when she died that night? It was just, it was nice and everyone felt at peace or something. Wouldn't that have been better than three months more of misery? I got this crazy vision of what I would consider, I guess, an angel. I don't know what angels are, what they look like, but it wasn't like you were thinking. You didn't see it. You had a vision. Oh, in her mind's eye, she said, yes. she said what, she what, saw what something in her mind's angel? eye. 
We're literally listening to a bitch sit here and tell us a fucking long ass story about how she imagined an angel once. I mean, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck, dude? <laughs> this is what you guys got. This is what the fuck. This is what the supernatural folks have got. I know it's so sad. A broad so talking lame. about how she imagined an angel in her fucking mind. Yeah, dude. Time. If you're gonna tell me an angel story, this bitch was like. An angel just appeared, like descended from the like the room and like touched her hand, and he saw like a golden spark. And lo, and, an angel of the yeah, Lord like, and filled then she came, the room with its majestic light. Yeah, she was dead and came back to life. I want some crazy story like that. I'm gonna have my supernatural shit. I'm not like I walked in and was tripping on my tripping my balls off and like that's an angel. What the fuck is this shit? This guy, that strawberry frosty was pretty all right. It was better than the chocolate one. I'll say mm -hmm. that an angel would look like because in my mind's eye it was basically like this huge like this huge your version imagination. of an angel you my mind's eye dude one What's time i saw eye? one time i saw a dragon in my imagination therefore dragons are real oh, like not like this little twinkly baby angel it was like this huge massive thing and the feeling i got when i saw this huge massive thing in my mind's eye was that it was an angel basically standing over this woman's bed can you actually well, describe the angel describe. it was As big she did it was a huge massive yeah. thing yeah. Scotty. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't explain it though i mean doesn't that just put the picture right in your head it was this huge <laughs> it was that massive big. thing Huge, massive thing. I'm thinking diamond. like a boulder or something, dude. I'm imagining like a boulder is in the room. Angel was dummy thick. That out of my mind and never thought about it again because I don't know anything about this stuff. Until the... Yeah, that's the kind of thing I wouldn't remember, you know. Oh, a giant angel. Huh. Well, I'll never think about that again. The next day when yeah, I was there, thinking that I was surprised she hadn't died that night and thinking I was going to walk in, walk in and see an actively dying patient and she was up eating pancakes and lived a very good life for another three months. Very good. Excellent. She was hit by a bus, you know. Then my mind went back to that vision I had in my mind's eye about this thing standing over. I want the follow-up to this video. No, I don't want the fucking, the long version. I want the follow-up. This So three months later, it was like you walked back in, the angel was like, eh. Not today. Never Go ahead mind. And die now. Like, how the and fuck does the an angel make that call? So the angel decided the first time was worth saving this bitch, but the second time it's like, nah, fuck it. Time Scary thing. Go. It was a beautiful, large, angelic thing. Now, I don't know what this all means, but... It means nothing. You're desperate for attention. That's what it means. Let's see what they say. I was a hospice RN for 17 years and had so many spiritual experiences. Right. One incident, I was working at a hospice inpatient unit where we had 10 beds for the patients. I had one woman who was actively dying. As I passed by a room, I peeped in and saw her sitting at the side of her bed smiling. I walked on and then stopped recalling blah, 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 blah. I'm full of cancer and the clock is ticking for me. These stories are tremendously encouraging. Thank you all for sharing. I, uh, oh, that, if that's sincere, that's, that's horrible. I've not seen an angel, but I've witnessed many miracles. I've had an encounter with an angel. Oh, my God. The Angel Club. That's all this is. Got a guardian angel looking out for you, TJ. You know what it was? It was her guardian angel. Encounter with an angel. Eyewitness interview. <laughs> okay. One frosty evening in December. This is someone has recorded the One TV show frosty. with their fucking camcorder. So. One frosty evening. December 1981, Roy Godwin was driving with his wife and children. We were travelling on a main road, quite a, a wide main road, through a forest. And suddenly there were four headlights side by side, immediately in front of us. One car over the way. other. I can't understand I'm a word this very line confused. is saying. Well, we drove the road this night, and we were talking about what? I went out at the headlights, and then the fucking angel was there. I instinctively pulled the car to the left. Yeah, look at his fucking teeth. <laughs> He's got a mouthful of half chicklets, chiclets, dude. <laughs> what the Guys fuck, Guys, the most British bro? teeth you've ever seen. 
<laughs> left onto the grass verge. Gotta subscribe on Patreon for the rest of the show. If you don't, then it means that your mama is a dirty hoe. Yes, you need to subscribe, damn.